Hey all, this is uh, Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are continuing on with AP Physics 1 uh, free response question, and we're looking at momentum, momentum based problems. Now, I encourage you guys to pause the video, attempt to do the problem on your own, and then come back after you've attempted the problem. So, a 70 kilogram woman and her 35 kilogram son are standing on an ice rink. So, let's just write that 70 and 35 kilograms. They push against each other for a time of 0.6 seconds, causing them to glide apart. The speed of the woman immediately after they separate is 0.55 meters per second. Assume that during the push, friction is negligible compared to the force they exert on each other. Calculate the initial speed of the sun after a push. Okay, so this is a, because there are no outside forces on this, momentum has to be conserved. So the momentum before, remember momentum is equal to mv. So the momentum before is zero because they're not moving before they do this interaction. But after they do this interaction, um, the woman is moving to the left at 0.55 meters per second. And presumably the sun is gonna move to the right at some velocity. Now, momentum is a vector quantity. So this velocity has a sign value to it. So I have to do the mass 70 kilogram and I'm gonna say to the right is positive just to be convinced. So her velocity is really negative 0.55 meters per second. Um, plus 35 kilograms times the velocity of the boy called VB. Okay, that's their momentum. And the momentum before and the momentum after have to be equal zero because there are no outside forces. Okay, so then I could solve for VB. VB is simply 70 kilograms. When I move this to the other side, this becomes a positive quantity. This is really, you know, the, the, the mom is twice, twice as, has twice, this is two, so it's two times 0.55, that's what, 1.1 meters per second? Just double the speed, okay? So that's A. Calculate the magnitude of the average force exerted by the sun on the mother during the push. Okay, this is um, by the sun on the sun by the mother during the push. Oh, okay, so what's gonna happen is there's a force and a force here, right? They're pushing on each other. So each is having a force exerted on themselves. Now, the um, the way you, the way you, the equation you wanna look at is um, F delta T is equal to M delta V. This is called uh, impulse momentum theorem. This is the impulse and the momentum theorem. So we would say, oops, M delta V. We would say that uh, the average force, or the, any change in momentum is due to an impulse, a force applied over time. So to find the force, I need to find the change in momentum divided by how long it took to change the momentum. Well, his change in momentum, he goes from zero momentum to um, 1.1 meters per second. So this would be um, 35 kilograms times 1.1 meters per second divided by, now how long did the force act on? Um, 0.6 seconds. Sixty-four point two newtons. It was like one sixty-four and one six newtons, but we'll call it that. How do the magnitude and direction of the average force exerted by the mother and the son during the push compare with those average force exerted by the son on the mother? Um, basically, they're equal and opposite by Newton's laws. Equal and opposite. Because whatever force during the entire time, whatever force that the boy exerts on the mom, the mom exerts on the boy, right? That's, that's uh, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. These are equal and they're opposite. So that's the Newton's law there. So that's just um, Newton's law. You could calculate it too if you want to do it. You could do the change in momentum of the, the woman the same way. You'll see the 35 will be doubled, 70, but this would be halved and it'd be over the same time. So you get the exact same number. After the initial push, the friction on the ice exerts cannot be considered negligible, and the mother comes to rest after moving seven meters across the ice. If their coefficients of friction are the same, how far does the sun move after the push? Well, let's take a look. Um, the force of friction 
is mu times the normal force. Oops, I'll do Fn. And the normal force is just their mass times gravity. And that has to equal the mass times acceleration. So I'm interested in knowing what the acceleration is. Well, the mass is canceled, so the acceleration is just mu times g, regardless of. So even though they're different masses, they have the same acceleration. Okay, that's a key point, right? The frictional force. While she might be heavier, her frictional force is twice as much. She's twice as massive, so the acceleration is the same as her, as the sun. Just sort of opposite direction, right? So the same, acceler same acceleration, but they have different velocities, right? So how do I know position? Delta x is, um, there's, there's two equations that relate uh, position and uh, velocity and acceleration. I have this kinematic equation, or I have this one. I think this one is better because this one requires me to know how long the um, how long the um, how long they traveled for. So I know the fi this is the final velocity. Final velocity is always zero. It's v naught squared plus two a delta x, and therefore if I rearrange for delta x, delta x is equal to negative v naught squared over two a. So let's see what happens. It's seven meter. So uh, if I double the velocity. The initial velocity, which is right, the sun has a twice the initial velocity, and they have the same acceleration. Then the distance should be twice as much, so 14 meters. Okay. All right. Hope you found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content, and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.